Good afternoon, everyone. This is our project Life on Speed Dial, our design goals um, with my partners, Jordan, Sarah, Claudia. So for our design challenges, basically we have, we live in a very busy world and there's never really enough time to get everything done. So we decided that it'd be best if we can find a tool where we can make everybody's life everyday tasks simpler with like a personal assistant using like the voice bot. So for our first persona, we have this 25 year old male, Mark Dave, and he is a marketing manager at a large tech company. And some of his goals include being able to order food online more efficiently, being able to make changes to his calendar and just schedule his appointments with just voice commands. So for our design goals in this storyboard, we have basically a young man who has trouble balancing work, school, and social life, and he needs um, an app, his voice bot, to make his life easier to complete these tasks. So for our first storyboard, we have Mark over here running late and he needs to get to class from his work. So he's a little bit stressed out and he wants to get a refresher. So his friend tells him about this new app that he can download, he signs up and then he gets his applications on there. He's able to set a voice command and get his Starbucks. So some signifiers in this storyboard are logos where you can know the different places to order from just by previous recognition. And another thing is um, a green check mark or order confirmed text signifying that your order has been placed. So this is the second persona. This is Audrey Bell and she is a stay at home mom who homeschools her children. And some of her goals include being able to have weekly lunch dates with her tennis girls. She wants to homeschool her children and also just keep track of her appointments and sporting events. So some design goals for this scenario is a stay at home mom who has trouble remembering everything that she needs while dealing with her busy life with her children. And so basically she would use this app life on speed dial to um, complete daily tasks like ordering things such as party supplies. So her storyboard includes just her being or needing to order her curriculum for her children by Friday. So she comes across this app, she signs up and then she um, is able to order her curriculum with overnight shipping and also set a reminder to order it every other Friday. So some signifiers in this storyboard would be the transcript conversation between the voice bot and the user where it can show that the bot understands which you have acts of it. And then another signifier we have is confirmation text that just knowing that your order has been placed. So our final persona is a 65 year old woman named Jolene Carter, and she's currently a retiree who's moving from the office to a more relaxed life. And so she just wants to be able to refill her medication, travel more and sp spend some time with family. And then she just struggles with ordering this medication from the pharmacy. So she wants to be able to do that more efficiently. So our design goals for this scenario is that for our retired woman who has trouble ordering medication, she would be able to use this voice spot to just simply tell them what she needs, order it, confirm it, either choose whether she wants it to have delivery or pickup. Um, really customize her options to make it easier for her. So for Jolene's storyboard here, she basically just needs to refill her prescription. She's watching TV and she sees this new app that she can download called Life on Speed Dial. She signs up 
And then she is able to get her or order her medication and then she gets a confirmation. And then as soon as she goes to the pharmacy, she's able to pick it up. Some signifiers in this storyboard would be a make an account label, which signifies just that to be able to sign up and your all your past speed dials can be saved based off of, you know, you creating that account. And some examples of voice dialogues is shown below and it's gonna be further explained in our prototype. So this is the homepage for our prototype one. Uh, here we have the uh, several options on the left column, we have profile, favorites, friends and settings. And in the middle, we have a sign in button and a sign up button. Here we have our favorites page where the user can save um, all of their speed dials, such as Starbucks, Uber, and favorite stores that they like to speed dial. So we have an example of the beginning of an interaction between the bot and the client. The bot greets the client and gets to work on what the client needs. Here we see the client needing a birthday cake and the bot knows that there is a bakery in the client's favorites. So it asks if the client would like to uh, order from that bakery. The client says, yes, absolutely, and tells the bot exactly what they want on the cake. And the bot will send a confirmation message, which all of the information, and ask the user to enter their PIN. And then the user will enter their PIN and the purchase will be confirmed. So one of the reasons that we decided to do two different prototypes here our prototype one is the one that we just went through and prototype two we're about to go through, but we decided that we wanted to give our users as much added value to their lives and solve as many of their problems as possible. So with creating two, our plans would be to user test both of them and then take the features that we like from both of those prototypes and make it into one. So this is the home screen for our second prototype. From this page, the user is able to select their profile, some of their favorites, which we call our speed dial list, um, their friends, as well as some settings. This is just an example of some early dialogue between our voice bot and the user. So here, our user is interacting with our voice bot. Our user needs to take medication and needs it refilled. So our user is able to either speak back to our voice bot, which is being transcripted here, or they're able to click at the bottom where it says like sleep medication, heart medication, and pain medication. That way it's easily accessible to the user if they prefer to speak or check which one they'd like. Here's more of an example of our user interacting with our voice bot. And then here at the bottom, you can see we don't plan to have those buttons in the final prototype, but they are there and they do pop up if our user needs to answer a question. And then here's just a confirmation example of a reminder set for our user. And then this is just an extra example of our favorites page. So this would kind of be considered our speed dial page. That way the user is able to say, I want my favorite coffee or my favorite meal. And the voice bot already has those programmed into the application. So it's able to just go ahead and order those for a teaser. And that's everything. Thank you.